K24 all motor setup. We will discuss about all the parts that we used and the strategy that we did to, in order for us to achieve the goal that we needed. It's a street car, but hey, it runs like a freaking race car. We'll discuss about the tricks on the with regards to the VTC, the degreeing, and also a reason why we ported the intake manifold a certain way because of the certain head that we used. So you know this one's for you. <laughs> We actually used an RBC head and you can see here, I want to show you something. Notice from the bowl, it transitions really well into the valve seat here. That doesn't mean it has to be this way for a K-series or whatever. It goes for all kinds of platform of, or engines for either D-series, H-series, or B-series. You need that transition well because when the valve is closed, the flow is stacked there. So when the valve opens, you'd want it to flow really good into the chamber, making the engine more efficient. So look at this, you can see the bowl and the transition really, really good, right? Yeah. And a lot of you guys who pay attention would realize I always say that they all connected or they're all working as a system is because of this. Because this K24 is going to run good pistons and good cams, which we'll talk about later, we need the head to be flowing quite efficient. And therefore, we would also need the intake manifold reworked really well to gain absolute efficiency. So let's go to that. And here's the RBC manifold freshly cut. And you can see the runner entry is actually shaped really well. That's what Honda did because they know it works. So you can see it's slightly raised from the plenum floor. This is actually like a decent velocity stack, right? So we got to take care of that and maintain it and improve it. Here we are reworking it. If you notice, we scribed a line below just to keep it consistent on the flaring and even the dividers, but you can't see it here, but we actually marker the divider this way. We don't go crooked or all wrong, you know? So this way it's more consistent. And here the finished one, you can see now it's like a velocity stack on all four, right? Yeah, you can actually see or visualize a velocity stack. So this is going to flow really good and fill up the cylinder head, the good ports of the RBC and make the engine more efficient. This way it's running better volumetric efficiency. Yeah, that's the velocity stack looking stack or runner entry, right? Yeah. Next up is the welded plenum. Here we are. Yeah, you can actually smooth that so that it looks good or that is not noticeable, but the owner didn't mind. Here's the, another angle of the plenum that's welded. And you can see on the runner flange or the flange near the head is all part matched equally to the cylinder head that we're working on. And there's the inside look. You can see the stacks are actually raised from the floor. That's all Honda. That's why the RBC manifold is quite decent in factory form, right? It looks really, really good, right? Yeah. And if you're liking the video so far, hit the subscribe button and the bell, you know, just again, subscribe and the bell so this way you're notified and hit the like button because it helps generate more views and get spread out really good. Of course, the super thanks option is also there and you guys are amazing for that. Thank you so much. And right, now here we are with a block with the OEM main bearings ready and it's brand new. It's actually coated. Okay, now we drop in the crank. That's the main girdle. You can see the bearings are brand new. All right. Now we drop in the crank here and it's torqued really good. And you know, it's back at its home. It's going to be there permanently there. It's so snug and all that. And because the crank is in its place now, time to go to the pistons. Ta-da! 
the Arias 87 millimeter bore pistons. They're actually second hand and when we cleaned them I was surprised it was like lo looking like brand new. That's because it was not overused to run too much timing. And here is the K1 rods that we're planning to use. Yeah, it looks good. And look the pistons look they actually look brand new but they actually second hand. And after gapping the rings we're here we're ready to assemble it but i must apologize to you guys because i cannot remember the part numbers of this arias pistons because we got it second hand or the owner got it second hand so even the box did not exist but it's 12.5 is to one compression all right now this because it's running healthy compression ratio i managed to convince the owner to run k-tuned big tube header because this way it's not constricted and it won't ping or detonate on pump gas because this is going to be on pump gas if this is a street car not a race car so no e85 no methanol nothing like that this is going to be pump gas on a muffler on a street car on actually an actual four door so hey that's cool and since it's a street car, the owner expects this to run on an air box and an air filter. That's a challenge we always like because it's realistic. Challenging, but realistic. And that's what we're all about. Raising the limits and improving ourselves. Okay, now back to the rods and pistons. It's ready and we actually gapped it. So I taped the piston ring so it's safe. Now we're going to install it. And now after installing the pistons, obviously we stretch the rod bolts with a stretch gauge. And if you can click here, we, we, we talk about the stretching the rod bolts or explaining it. And But don't worry, it's going to be in the description below. This way you can focus and concentrate on watching this whole video till the end. And now there you go with the ARP head studs. This way, durability is not an option that we can't have because this is going to be a street car. Yep, and the super tech valve train. It's going to be all good in the hood right yeah now let me talk about this now this has a 50 vtc not a 25 on the k24 so this was upgraded with a k28 type r 50 vtc and we all know the vtc advances and all that right but did you know the 50 or the digit on the vtc means degrees overlap meaning the 25 vtc has 25 degrees of overlap between the two cams so for example if you have a 25 degree vtc gear and you need a little more overlap give me a mechanical exhaust camber and i'll give you 50 degrees of overlap that's why degreeing the k series is also equally important or more important than the b series because you know it lets you run whatever cams you want and get the power back and that takes engine analysis and proper engine understanding and of course degreeing it to get the most out of the engine or at least the project right and a little trivia for now skunk 2's pro 2 and tuner 2 and even pro 3 cams like 31 to 32 degrees overlap so when you think about it that's 31 to 32 vtc right it makes the most power that way and take note it's overlap not the intake or not exhaust together i started doing that on the b series when i found out about the k series vtc and this is why for some of you guys who've seen me build the engines i have like four or five or even six scrap papers taking notes I figured aside from consistency, it's the only way to keep improving my previous work. And of course, those scrap papers, because they're important, I rewrite them and leave them in my notebook or my notes. In, it's in the folder or in files and I can always check on it every time. Thankfully, I managed to convince the owner to run Drag Cartel Stage 004 cams. He wanted 2.2 or 3.2, but I said, you have enough compression. And he said he was worried about low end. And I'm like, you're at 2.4 liter and this is going to be strong. So you got to let it breathe. And plus, he's, he's going to run a 5.1 final drive type R six speed transmission. So the four door would actually be like a light hatchback. 
And I'd like to take this chance to give a shout out or thank you to Larry Widmer, the pioneer and the man behind Endine, because back then Bong would talk about him and all the good stuff and he would say that his brother Vic used to go see Endine or Larry for the parts that Bong needed. And so when I told Larry about Bong's passing, he simply emailed back and said, you know, he's sorry about all the news, but when I see Vic, tell Vic not to go to the Vietnamese restaurant that they went to. Like, what the hell is that story behind it? I wouldn't want to know. And when I told Vic about it, he just burst out laughing. That makes sure that I don't want to know, right? And if any of you guys are wondering, Larry Widmer, we are friends on Facebook, but he's not really much of a messenger guy, you know. We always email back and forth, and I've got scrolls over email, and you know what? He knows more than what he shares, that's all. And because we didn't get to make a video about this RBC head, you can click here for the RBB K-Series porting that we did. This is loved by the circuit racers because it gets good airspeed and the port volume is just perfect. You know, you could run a bigger cam than usual and still not lose the mid-range. That's gonna be fun. And also here on this Type R head, the PRB, you can also click here for the video on this. And this is going to be fun because it shows you a lot of things to consider when you're pointing it. And so when I mentioned earlier about the rod bolt stretch gauge, we're going to show you that. And the link is going to be in the description below and all these two videos too. So don't worry about it. This engine actually exceeded the 300 wheel horsepower mark. It exceeded it, but not by a lot. And the owner was stoked and happy about it. And pardon me, we couldn't show you. We didn't get to show you the exhaust cam gear that's adjustable. And also, you got to understand, we did this in 2018, right? So that's actually four years ago. So... This is a work that we've done before and we're wanting to share this way. It gives you guys a lot more ideas on how to build your next engine or project, especially the understanding of the VTC gears. You know, it's fun, right? And as I said earlier, this was done in 2018. So boy, we can't wait to show you guys our latest work on the K28 Type R and the K24. Hey, you know you gotta subscribe to be updated. You can click here for more.